Let's go, boys. Today, we're taking a look at the updated Vikings theme team in Madden 23 Ultimate Team. Big shout out to my guy Jimbo for letting me use the squad. And as you guys can see, we are in a new location, new setup, whatever you want to call it. I think it looks pretty clean. I'm not going to lie. The wood looks good in the back. But regardless, 89s across the board, Vikings theme team. Let's take a look. The Vikings offense is looking pretty good. We've got Dante Culpepper, Legends card, 94 overall at quarterback. Delvin Cook and Cordero Patterson at running back. We've got Stefan Diggs, Justin Jefferson, and Randy Moss at receiver. Dave Casper, TJ Hawkinson at tight end. The offensive line is all over 88 overall. We've got Eiflin playing out of position, so... Uh, he's gonna he really is an 88 or 87 or whatever, but it says he's an 83 you guys can see we are 50 out of 50 Vikings uh, Not that you guys were doubting that at all and shifting over to the defense You can see we've got team diamond Chad Greenway as our user today our outside linebackers are Darius Smith and Anthony Barr Safety's up top Cordero Patterson Harrison Smith and Xavier Woods our corners are Cameron Dantzler Patrick Peterson Randy Moss John Randall Ty McGill Michael Pierce gonna be on our defensive line and that pretty much sums up our lineup. Taking a look at this Chad Greenway Team Diamonds. I don't think, out of all the years I've been playing Mutt, I can't remember the last time Chad Greenway got a card, so it's pretty cool. Might as well show him. 90 speed, 6 foot 3 with 90 excel, 91 block shed, 92 tackling. Uh, he's going to be a run-stopping archetype linebacker, so uh, I put Lurker on him for, I believe... I think it's 1 AP. We can see right here. Yeah, 1 AP Lurker. He's going to be my user. Uh, roaming around 6'3 linebacker. Uh, should be pretty solid. And then under center today for us, Dante Culpepper. Legends card, 94 overall with 90 speed, 98 throw power, which is actually wicked. Uh, his accuracies are 90, 88, and 93 for short, medium, and deep. 92 throw on the pressure. And uh, he is 6'4", 200. I think that was 260 pounds. Yeah, 6'4", 260 pounds. I did not know he weighed that much. We've got X Factor Dots, and we also have Set Feet Lead as his ability for 4 AP. As I've been doing, uh, we're going to be using the Vikings offense, using whatever team's playbook that we're using for the day, just to spice up the videos a little bit more, get some new plays in there. I think we've got Gun Bunch offset and a couple other type formations that I'll try out. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the gameplay. Let me know down in the comments what theme teams you guys want to see next. And uh, that being said, let's get into game one. Yeah, we got a first and 10. This dude's going to run the ball up the gut again, but we're going to stop Walter Payton in his tracks. Loss of one. There we go. Oh, he throws up the seam. That was a really good play. And that's going to be Devontae Adams for a gain of like 25, maybe 20, 28 actually. And, you know, good for him. If he wants the seams, he can throw them. The tight end's going to be open. He's going to try to moss me with Harold Carmichael. We get a breakup. I tried picking it because that's Randy Moss out there, but make sure that's manned up. He goes run up the gut. I don't know what I was doing with my user. He tackled on Walter Payne. It's the hurry up. My adjustments, I feel like my adjustments are just slower right now. Probably because I haven't played the game. Play action? Nope. We do get a stop though, okay. So it's gonna be third and four. And that's gonna be it. Yup, all day. We blow them up. Let's go. Fourth and three. Lance not there. He's gonna run up the middle of Mike Vick. And he actually picked up a first down. I forgot that it wasn't fourth and goal. Nope, nope. Okay, he got in. Dude, I'm standing right there. I'm literally standing right there. It's gonna be seven nothing. This dude's not good either. There is no way this dude scores another touchdown on me. Really not surprised. So uh, we're going to make sure we're trying to get in our bag here. I'm going to throw RB. That's Stefan Diggs. He tries to get a break up. We're getting lit up because I'm just forced into animation. I can't move. There we go. Come on, Dave Casper. Get upfield. Get upfield. Dude, the animations in this game feel so long. Like, I'm stumbling backwards for five whole seconds. If we can uh, chuck that up. And it's perfect accuracy, but it's not perfect accuracy. Dude, I'm not good at... I gotta just stop freeforming. The meta right now, it just doesn't seem very fun. That's wide open. I mean, man blitz is easy to beat, sure, but, like, why even run it? Justin Jefferson, we're gonna walk into the end zone from the 10 celebrating. Sliding into the end zone, actually. But, like, ah, some of these guys just mindlessly call a cover zero blitz. And, I don't know, it just makes it... It, it just makes the game kind of less interesting because, like, I don't know. It, it, it's him relying on the overpowered i guess yeah the overpowered man coverage and just toss and scheme out the window like I, I get it sometimes with the meta like you're relying on you know so you're taking advantage of something that's in the game that is a little overpowered or maybe is broken but it's usually to a certain extent like you know you can counter it this it's like dude half the plays oh wow hold on let me shut up just make the tackle thank you it's like half the plays in my playbook beat man coverage you know what i mean like i don't need to really know how to beat it that's just me going on a little rant there i mean this dude's just gonna come out and run stretch every play and can we just not we we can't we can't get, get hands on it all we'll see if this dude continues to run stretch it looks like he is and my guys just can't get off blocks i don't know what's going on 
This dude, I said he wasn't going to score me, but he's already on the five-yard line just running stretch. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you for that. I don't have it on the one, right? All right, I was about to say, dude. This guy is terrible. Bull stock man coverage blitzing the linebackers. Getting, that's pass interference. I'm getting bumped off the route. All right, so basically just survive in the pocket enough for someone to get open because this cover zero just stuff is just junk. Throw RB there. Stefan Diggs just winning. Now we're going to juke, get hit sticked. Probably should have ran out of bounds there. I didn't realize there was 40 seconds left. God. And I kind of like this play. I'm looking Jefferson over the top. X is wide open. What is that, Randy Moss? Dude, our receivers are really just too good to run man against. I know I know Moss is kind of an older card, but dude, clearly right there, he, he can still get open, man. Okay, let's see it. So we got a go. Randy doesn't win that. That's going to be a sack. Oh, wait, wait. Just get the ball out. Uh, animation sucks. You're just losing me more yards. Like, just take the initial sack. All right, so I'm looking either Jefferson or, or Diggs here. There's Jefferson getting up field, and we're going to juke, and that's actually... Pitch it. Oh, wait, wait. Casper. Animations, bro. The animations just sold that clip. Yup, Stefan Diggs touchdown. 14 7. We take the lead before the half. That play dig return is just so good. I mean, this dude's running stock coverages, so it's going to be open no matter what. But just one simple read. 14 7. I think, I think we started the ball at halftime, too. So we're looking great right now. Absolutely phenomenal. Vikings offense is a, is a well oiled machine. All right, let's see. It's second and 17. Let's see if Mo maybe Moss can win over top. I'm going to have to check down to the running back there again, which is incomplete. Maybe conjure something up here. Third and 17, looking at Diggs, throwing it anyways, and left tackle just got stomped on. It's fourth and 17. Now we're looking at post wheel, fourth and 17, just setting up a shot. That's Randy Moss winning on his route. Wow, that's actually nasty. We swerve him, and that might be... That That's going to be... That's going to be a 91-yard touchdown. Okay, it took me a second to do the math there, not going to lie. We take the 21-7 lead. That's going to be a pick. Oh, no, breakup. But I manned that up. Yeah, I couldn't man up the right side, so I'm going to have to fly out there. He's going to just chuck up another streak. See, like, nah, th this game's over. That's Randy Moss, both sides of the football. Dude, I just realized that was, okay, that was a late juke. But I realized we got Moss on both sides of the football. We've got Patterson on both sides of the football. Is that it? I think that's it. But still, you know, guys playing like it's high school football here. All right, so we got a second and seven. Second and seven, we're playing cover zero. He's going to throw a whip route at Patrick Peterson, Tyreek Hill. Okay, I probably can't run man coverage against Tyreek Hill. Try getting an interception there. Dude, at the 48 with a second and 10, that's going to be me. What? Not only did it go, okay, Greenway didn't light up with Lurker, and whoever was guarding the tight end just missed the ball. All right, that's that's very fun. Third and 10, we're in empty. I'm going to send five, so this guy's got to make a decision quick. Um, I'm going to shade. I actually didn't shade anything. He's going to whip a slant to Donald Driver. It's going to be fourth down still, though. Fourth and short, fourth and two. Nothing's open. Can we get a break up there? No. That was a good ball. He, he like, pass led that down. That was, that was a really good ball. And, we're shaded inside. I'm going to be on this. He's going to throw it backside shoulder on the drag, dude. Put a curl flat out there. That's a pick. No, it's Hale Carmichael mossing me down to the one. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, that was wide open. That was wide open. That was my zone, too. That was bad. That was bad. All right, so he's going to go up 7 0. This is going to be the first play of our drive. We've got Diggs in the backfield, which is kind of a crazy. I see that up. It's kind of a crazy. Um, Okay, wait, how do we get hits? No, never mind. He has no power there, but okay, whatever. I mean, blah, blah, blah. all right, so this guy's got inside stuff, inside stuff, edge threat, edge threat, lovely. Uh, let's see what we're gonna have here. Might have had A, I think that was, I should have thrown A. See it. Let's go, Randy Moss. Let's go, Randy Moss. Great catch. Wait, hold on to that. Down to the 26. Man coverage. It's not its zone, so I'm just going to throw Casper on the outside. Going to pick up nine on first and ten. Okay. We're on the 17, looking to get into scoring rate. I'm going to take three. I'm going to be smart. Let's take three. That's just Julius Peppers just demolished my left tackle. All right, so we're going to move to four down linemen. He's going to throw that. Patrick Peterson was right there to break it up. All right, so we switch from three to two. I'm going to send everyone up on the line of scrimmage. Big hit. Oh, my God. Dave Casper is just him. He holds on to that somehow. 
We go screen. We got to get there to the running back. That's Emmett Smith. Okay. Oh, I can't get a breakup. How? And we've got a vert hook in there. That's me. Let's go, Trey Green. We're taking that back for six, dude. Dude, that is good defense. That is good adjusting, and that is good defense right there. So I took my three. Now we're gonna take the lead. 10-7, 54 seconds left in the second quarter. Let's go, man. All right, so we're coming out. Cover three. He's going to run the ball. Chad Greenway making plays once again. Got to make sure that he doesn't, you know, got to make sure he doesn't get six on this drive. That's a pick. That's a pick. Let's go. Randy Moss playing corner. Can we get six here? I think they just have the angle. Yeah, they have the angle. We're have the ball starting on the 16, though. That is great. And then he's going to quit. He's going to quit. So that's a rage quit, and we won the last game. Damn. Damn, dude, the Vikings theme team might be him. I'm not gonna lie, the Vikings theme team is for real. That's gonna be the video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Once again, shout out to Jimbo for letting me use the team. Let me know down in the comments what theme team you guys wanna see coming up next. But that being said, uh, Jack signing.